25th overall of being a collegiate coach. So I got started right out of college. 1998-99 um, was my first year. Um, so I'm starting to get old, starting to feel old a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's the greatest job in the world. So far, um, it, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. We've looked really good at times. We've been disappointed at times. Um, just learning each other still, learning how to come together, trying to become a better team on a daily basis, trying to learn how to win, uh, learn how to compete. And it, it's, again, hopefully little by little every day, our goal is to be our best in February and try to get better and better throughout. But really the word is just consistency, just trying to find consistency of playing hard and learning how to compete all the time. I think it's the number one skill in basketball. And, uh, you know, it sounds like coach speak, but just trying to get better at that every day. We have an old team, um, guys with a lot of experience. We've got four junior college players that are um, they've just, you know, they've been playing a long time. Uh, Noah Wiswary, our point guard, he's in his fourth year already. So we've, we've got a lot of veteran players still learning how to play together. But you got to look at those guys for, for leadership. And throughout this whole process of building the program, Dane Voss, Tevin Ali, Derek Johnson, Ryan Robinette, those guys got to be so hungry by now to, to try to change the culture here. And, and turn it into a, a solid program, hopefully a winning program. Uh, we've had a really good eight-man rotation so far with uh, Laura Upshaw, Ryan Bart, a couple of underclassmen that are, that are getting better. And then Hayden Garrison's been a nice addition as a freshman, gives us some size that we haven't had in the past. So uh, as they continue to come together, you know, we it, it really is just a, a process of really learning how to be confident and that that might sound odd to, to some people but you you have to learn how to be confident you have to earn confidence and and we have not done that yet here and uh, hopefully at some point that happens this season and if it does we could be pretty good if it doesn't then we'll see we, we could just be okay um, but but the physical tools are there the physical talent is there We've just got to get those other pieces to fall into place, and, and we've got to go out and earn it on a daily basis. I am the coach, Peter Sabidi. I'm the head women's coach at Olivet College. Uh, I've been here for a year and a half now, going into my second year. And I'm really enjoying the process, really enjoying the time, looking forward to building the program. Season's going well. Um, definitely, you know, obviously there's always some, some wins out there that you probably left on the table. But, you know, for the most part, I'm proud of our team, proud of our ladies. Uh, we're competing a lot more and a lot better than we did last year. Um, so that's a you know, big step in the right direction. But, you know, if I had to grade the season, you know, it would probably be a B plus, um, somewhere in the B range. Because uh, there's a couple things we could do better, and again, that's also on me as a coach. But overall, season's going really, really uh, better than we were last year. So we've had a couple of nice surprises this year. Um, we returned to court group uh, with Courtney, Clara, and Zoe. Um, so we turned some core kids. Uh, we had a couple of nice surprises. Uh, Lily Conley right now leads our team in scoring. Um, and, and we got a couple of nice post players with Megan and Rachel and Kinsley. So we got some really nice players. Um, just a couple of nice pieces all, all together with the kids that we were returning and the kids that we had coming back. <laughs> Work 
for the rest of the season is to stay competitive. Um, there's some teams that we can we can steal a couple wins with, and those are the team. You know, those are the games that we just got to stay competitive. And obviously, everybody knows Hope and Trine are pretty good teams, and so just staying competitive, staying in those games, staying hungry, staying after it for 40 minutes. I'm always gonna be happy with the outcome. Uh, just staying competitive is is the biggest thing. And I think you know this year we have a chance to to, to potentially make the MIAA tournament if we do some things correctly. I'm the head wrestling coach here at Alabama College. I've been here for 14 seasons now, so a long time. I uh, love this place. It was my first head coaching job, and you know, I've, I've loved it the whole way. Family uh, is here in town. We bought a house in town, and uh, you know, we just uh, really enjoyed this time, and we look for look forward to more time here. The team's been super successful in my t uh, during this tenure. You know, all of that was known for wrestling well before I came. Uh, we have the longest history of any non-Division One uh, NCAA team in the entire state of Michigan. We've got the longest history of 58 years of wrestling underneath us. And a lot of those years very successful. Uh, Jared Klein won 10, 11 league championships before the league went away. And since they brought the league back, and we've had a couple regional championships in the Oregon Bay, had well, eight different All-Americans now, including a national runner-up, and, uh, and a couple of, couple of top uh, ten finishes uh, as far as uh, final team rankings, and, uh, and, uh, and a bunch of uh, top 25 finishes. And then the one thing we always like to bring up, and we're extremely proud of this academic our team, is continue to be one of the best in the country for wrestling. Uh, we've won two national championships academically, and we've been running up twice, and we're always in the top 20, 25 in the country every year. So, I'm very proud of what the boys have done here on and off the bat in my time. Everybody got it? One, two. Our, our dual meet record is not what we want it to be. Lost a couple of close ones. Uh, we are ranked, though. Uh, you know, they have two rankings in in uh, in wrestling. Your your point getter rankings for the guys that are ranked regionally and nationally, and that puts us in the top 12, 13 in the country. And then as a dual meet team, we're like sitting around 20th in the country right now. We've lost a couple of that to teams in front of us that we really uh, we were hoping to get. They were close matches. Uh, but we've also been figuring out the lineup. We don't have everybody set uh, for who the true starters are because we've had a lot of competition for some of those weight classes. And uh, we've had some guys banged up. But we've had some stalwarts too. Uh, you know, Dylan Phelps, uh, Dash Hermann, that's Dan doing a great job uh, filling in at 41, 49, uh, being steady for us down there. Of course, uh, we got some captains and, and Owen Guilford and, and Donnie King that are just Phenomenal athletes ranked in the country. Donnie's ranked number one, and, and uh, Guilford's been in the top 15 most of the year. And just, just doing a great job up there, beating people up, and uh, you know, being great leaders. And then we've added some new faces. Cam Bush was a transfer to us, who's, who's enjoyed a lot of time in the top 15 in the country too, and being a returning All-American. So we've had had some great, uh, some great wrestling in there uh, by some of our returners and, and some guys that are new. Uh, and there's others, lots of, lots of good guys this year, but uh, those ones have stuck out. But